Okay, so we talked about the transport of oxygen. Next, we need to talk about the transport of carbon dioxide. So there are actually three ways that carbon dioxide is transported in your body. So the three ways include one, dissolved in the blood plasma. So carbon dioxide is a gas that can be that can readily pass across the plasma membrane and be dissolved in fluid. We know this, like our soda water has carbon dioxide in it, it's carbonated, right? So gases can be dissolved in fluid. However, this doesn't carry much gas. So it's like seven to 10% of CO2 is transported in this way, plasma, in the blood plasma. The second way, is it can actually be bound to hemoglobin. So it can bind to the globin portion of hemoglobin. So it doesn't compete with access to the same binding sites of oxygen. It, can, it binds to a completely different part of the hemoglobin molecule. Remember that it's the heme group the iron containing part of the molecule that binds oxygen. So this is a different place, a different thing. And we can draw this chemical reaction because we can say um, CO2 binds to hemoglobin to form carb amino hemoglobin. And this is a going in two directions, chemical reaction. So this is carb amino hemoglobin, carbon that binds to the amino part of the hemoglobin molecule, okay. So it can disassociate as well. So it could pick it up and it can release it, right? So the third thing is it is transported as the bicarbonate ion in solution. So this is about 20%. Of CO2, of, of CO2, sorry, of CO2. Okay, so it can be transported as a bicarbonate ion in solution. Okay, so we talked about how CO2 combines with water and it produces carbonic acid, and then that carbonic acid could release hydrogen and release the bicarbonate ions. Now, if we look at the diagram that shows this, we can see that um, the majority of the CO2 is actually transported in this way. So let's look at um, it being picked up. So CO2 being picked up at the tissues, it is going to combine with water and it is going to form this bicarbonate ion. So this is my bicarbonate ion. That is actually makes your blood um, a lower pH. Notice that there's actually an enzyme here. You don't need to memorize this enzyme, but inside the red blood cells, this conversion of CO2 combined with water, that actually occurs faster inside the red blood cell because it is catalyzed by an enzyme. But notice that it also occurs just simply in the um, blood plasma. So it is in the blood plasma as well. So this makes up about 20%, or excuse me, 70%. So this is about 70%. So if we go back to here, we have 20 and about 10. So this is about 70%. So most of the CO2 is carried as the bicarbonate ion. Okay, so let's look at um, the binding, right? So some of the CO2 comes in and it binds to hemoglobin, but notice that it also binds oxygen. And then at the other end, it actually releases CO2 uh, hemoglobin also releases oxygen, right? Or it picks up, excuse me, it's picking up oxygen here. So here it's releasing the CO2 and it's coming back out. CO2 dissolved in plasma 
back out. So we breathe out CO2. So um, in the lungs, um, the hemoglobin actually releases CO2 rather than picking it up like it does with the oxygen. So that is the three mechanisms for the transport of carbon dioxide in your body.